things. So this is all for me. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, because uh, I, I noticed you didn't you don't have some I didn't recording. have my camera. Like I don't so, have all my uh, stuff. Go, yeah, you want to get in here. I know. I know. Always. Okay, so yeah. hey, hey, Blue Table fans. I'm here with Terry of uh, Geek and Sundry. Hi. Right? Yes. And um, Sorry. now this is the first, this is like the second time we've met. Yes. And um, so I'm kind of glad your husband isn't here <laughs> because um, uh, I need to confess something. Okay. I love you, Terry. Oh, thank you are you. so fun <laughs> and just like, ah, oh, you've got this great vibe. I love it. Thank yes, you. Thank more you. please. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So okay. Much. Thank you. I, yeah. I, well, when you're super geeky about stuff, like I am, um, it kind of tends to show up in all the stuff you do. So, I guess that people are picking up on just how much in love I am with Bobby. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. So, uh, so basically, I get out of the elevator. Uh, there's Terry. She's giving me like this. This bright-eyed, <laughs> expectant look, like I'm, I'm, and I'm like, okay. So, do you know Blue Table Painting? I do, I do. I've, I've seen your videos. I've like watched you guys um, grow. I've like, I, I've talked to some people in your company before. Like, um, so yeah, I, I'm familiar with what you do. And we always have this little debate in our house between my husband and I. Like, we're always at a point where we're just, just about ready to ship like one of our big armies over to you guys because we just. We don't play it anymore, but you know, we just gotta, we gotta cut the umbilical cord. We're right. still waiting to do that. He's, he's emotionally attached. Oh my gosh, like you They're his babies. Believe. They are his babies. Um, whereas I think of them as just half mine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay, so uh, I want to know about you, okay. and also, topic B, about uh, Geek and Sunday. Okay, so um, I am a mini wargamer, obviously. I have been playing war games since about 2002, 2003, um, so I've kind of been involved in hobby for that long. I used to sell like Warhammer stuff at the games workshop. I used to have a red shirt, um, which is like, can you believe it? Uh, I was, I think technically I was the second female ever employed by games workshop retail in Canada. So that's kind of where I come from in terms of my my background. I started making videos um, about the hobby. Like, Hold on. Do you have a channel? I do. On okay, my, what's I have your a channel? personal Let's channel. Plug your channel. My personal channel on YouTube is that Terry Girl. So YouTube.com that Terry one R Girl. And wait, uh, is it T E R I? T E R I. So that Terry, Terry Girl. Girl. That Terry okay. Girl. Um, so I. Did, as soon as we're done here, I'm going to make a beeline and go subscribe. Subscribe. Absolutely. This is great. Subscribe. Okay. Um, awesome. And yes, please subscribe. But I, that's where I do some of my more specific kind of hobby related stuff on the Geek and Sundry Vlogs channel. Um, basically, a year ago, when I just started vlogging, Felicia Day said, hey, we're looking for vloggers to join our network. And they said, we're setting up this like vlogger channel. So please come and audition. And so I sent in a, a couple of vlogs about the hobby and what I do and what I'm excited about and uh, what I you know, kind of videos I make, like painting tutorials and um, just like general hobby tips for people, guys going to tournaments, guys um, looking for just how to how to get started in the hobby. And so I made a whole bunch of videos on that. Those videos now live on the Geek Central Vlogs channel, which is. You know, youtube.com slash geek and sundry vlogs. And I make videos with them every two weeks. They come out on Fridays. Oh, that is great. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I just, I'm just like completely taken with your energy. This is great. Well, it's like, I'm like, I go through life like this. And uh, yeah, you just, you just have this great spirit. It's oh, really you. neat. Thank you. I love it. But yeah, so please, I love what you guys do as well. I love, I love that like I hear so often, like people say, well, painting models is hard. I really want to get into the game. I want to get into the hobby, but it can be hard. Or like for me, it was I went through like three or four years of the hobby where I didn't paint at all. I got pregnant. I, my pregnancy had like complications, which meant I had arthritis in my hands, so I couldn't actually hold a brush or a model for a long time. And, as a result, I, I was not, I kind of got divorced from the hobby. But what you guys offer is the ability for people to have that. They don't necessarily have to have the whole package, but they can still enjoy the aspects of the hobby that they enjoy. And I'm a huge advocate 
for people to participate in the hobby in the ways that engage them the most. They don't have to love everything. Like, I don't love competitive gaming. I used to, but I don't anymore. And and so I don't. I don't participate in that. But that doesn't mean that I think I'm What do you, what's, what do you play? I, okay, so I play Warhammer 4000. I've played that, like, since the inception. I now also... Well, since, like, 1978. <laughs> no, not Rogue Trader. Since my personal birth into the hobby, if you will. Oh, okay. So since 2000... And, like, do you two. notice? Do you notice how she talks about the hobby like it's a relative? It's a relative. You fell in love with the yeah, hobby. Oh you were divorced gosh. from the hobby. It's, it's a you relationship. You were born into the hobby. Well, for me, when I think That's of awesome. the hobby, it's not just like it's not this thing that I do. It's a relationship I have with with a community. It's a relationship I have with with the people I, I play with. It's it's more than that. why it's so. It's all a relative because I think. It's it's more about it's not about what I do it's how I relate to it and so yeah I've been I play 40k I play this weekend here at Adepticon I'm starting like I'm starting just my first few games in Bushido um, I have Malifo models that I'm starting to you know, get into uh, I have a War Machine starter set that I've, I've built and if you follow me on Twitter and Tumblr you can see like the slow progress on that. Um, Wait, did you say War Machine? War Machine. So what faction? Kador. Okay, Kador. wow. My husband's playing Minoff, so, so yeah, I'm starting in that... I'm sorry, your husband's playing what? Minoff. Oh, okay. So we're... No, just, hold, if, may I interject? Sure, sure. Okay, because for a second there I thought you said Minoff. Oh, sorry. No, 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 I was about to be like, yay! <laughs> You're saying it a different way than what the book says. I'm sorry. Because I pronounce them all different. I oh, say Krikes, Krikes. Saignar, Minoff, <laughs> you know, and... Uh, What's the last one? Yeah, what, what am I missing? Uh, yeah, Kato. Well, it's, it's one of those things. It's just Apparently like apparently it's Kato. We play. I, uh, continue. We pull. We play. We do that with you know, my gaming group. We have uh, guys who play Fires from Armada. Um, I'm uh, obviously I'm just getting into Fires from Armada as well. Um, and they pronounce the Relfosa, Reloza. And it's just it's kind of like we have. I, I like to think of mini wargaming as like you know as everyone has like a meta of the games that they play. There's a, like a certain structure to the, the way that people play by region. There's also a certain dialect of how we you know just interact with the terms there. Like in Britain, don't pronounce anything in the guard lay like anything relating to guard wrong because you will you will you will say it wrong. Shimura, Chimera, whatever. It's all Shimura. Shimura, right? Everyone says it differently, and, and so you know, I've actually never heard that one. Go, yeah. go ahead. Chimera is the common term where we call. Yeah. Okay. But Shimura is one of the things that, that I've is been corrected. Is that how they corrected. say it in Britain? I've been corrected. Okay. So the more you know. <laughs> A guy just walked by in his bathroom. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> That, that that makes sense. Anyway, okay, so go, go ahead. Yeah, so I, I I start a lot of games. I'm, I'm still, like, one of the things that I do a lot on my channel right now is I'm getting into Star Trek Attack Wing, which is like a miniature game that comes pre-painted, but I don't like any of the paint jobs, so I paint them myself. And I think well, that's... The miniature quality is really high these days, so high. it's easy to repaint this stuff. Absolutely. And the paint isn't on too thick. Like, no, you get You get, like, Wizards of the Coast D&D yeah. &D minis, which yeah. are terrible. Oh, my gosh. It, it, in every aspect, but they're cheap. Yeah. You know, oh my like gosh. You're playing D and D. It's a buck a fig. <laughs> so blah. There you're, it is. You're good to go. I have figures, um, but, but they're good. Good quality. Yeah, stuff. yeah. You can get you can get like the Whiz Kids models for Attack Wing are beautifully sculpted. Um, I've actually like cut some of them apart, like the Romulan um, the Derenex class. Like, I've pulled the top from the bottom, and it's sculpted on the inside too. What? It's crazy. It's sculpted, really? inside. but you look at the moss with a paint job, and it's terrible. Like it's especially bad. So I just repeat everything. <laughs> especially bad paint jobs. Worst painting company name ever. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes. All right. So uh, okay. Well, that's uh, he's that got purity cool. seals on his bathroom. Stop That's it. Can we just get a shot of this guy really quick? Let's just get this out of the way. Fantastic. <laughs> That's awesome. He's just out of the shower. The chaplain's come by and pronounced him clean. Awesome. <laughs> That's what's going on. That's my narrative for that guy. That's my narrative. For that guy. Okay, great. So, um, so you're so you're from Canada. I am from Canada. And I love Canada. Oh, Canada is yeah. a cold place right now. I'm loving it here because there's no snow on the ground. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> There's so, a foot um, that has snow back where I came from. Like, I left. Awesome. 
I, I, I'm sorry, I was having a mental battle with myself oh just my there, of saying Canada's my third favorite country. But uh, because I like you so much, I'm kind of on my best behavior right now, right? I'm toning down the awkward. So uh, even though I did, I did open with that, with the love confession. But um, okay, so you're from Canada. Yes. You're, you're heavy duty war gamer yes. person. Yes. And um, you also are a vlogger for Geek and Sunday. Yes, I make vlogs for Geek and Sunday. Okay, um, so yeah. just w one other thing. Tell me something from your personal life. Maybe another type of hobby or a goal or ambition. Uh, so I am also a roller derby girl. I, girl. Uh, I, I'm a yep, rep. Let's, let's see the back. The sure. derby darling. Actually, it's also on the dress too. Oh, that's fantastic! <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting undressed in, 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 on YouTube. No, I think I think <laughs> I think showing us your shawl is, is okay. All right. So yeah, I I, I participate in roller derby, sport, roll local roller derby. Um, I I officiate for a Wolfed um, member league in Calgary, and yeah, I, I kind of that's that's what I do when I don't want to be sitting and painting and and. Hanging out for, for too long keeps my body, you know, moving at least. No, that's that's fantastic. Wow. And what's great is um, uh, interviewing you, or gosh, even just talking to you, is uh, that you're carrying you're carrying like the whole show with oh, this I'm amazing. Sorry. No, with this. Um, no, it's good. This is a compliment. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's great. You just have this amazing presentation and energy. I just oh, absolutely love it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, uh, I don't know if we mentioned this already, but uh, I actually have three derby girls. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, you support so, local roller derby too, then. Yes, I do. The violence is yes, awesome. I do. <laughs> they, uh, there's actually was this old abandoned uh, like shopping. Thing, like a grocery yeah. store called Food for Less. They're just sitting there. So the Derby girls came in, they rented it. And um, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, you go there and it's like Mad Max. Oh, you know, they even have the Food for Less sign still up. But you go there and it's just like this ad hoc punk rock thing. They have all these used sofas around the ring where you go in and just uh, sit down on all this oddball furniture. Oh, you know, awesome. And it is really super. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I've got my front desk out, a painter, and now uh, my uh, PA, Marissa, are all uh, derby girls. So uh, in, any one of them could just body check me right into the wall. Right, right. So, right. so, so watch it, Don. So and it is, this is like, I hear about the training that Shannon does. Oh my gosh. And uh, she just like... Oh my god, yeah, we drop repeatedly onto the concrete. You know? Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, I don't think I'm up for that. Legs. I don't think I could do that. Lots of, lots of legs, at least. That's great. That is great. Well, um, what a delight to meet you and talk to you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you are so, so much. fun. Oh, thank wow. You. <laughs> I'm hoping uh, that we'll run into each other again. Oh, I'm sure we will. We can, uh, I can chat up your husband. That'd be really Tell me his name again. Nathan. Nathan. I, I'm, I'm like, going to remember that. I'm a semi-producer of Dating Game Cast. They never credit me, which is why it's like a running joke. I'm uncredited producer of their podcast, and they do all sorts of stuff, and I was doing that for from before when I was walking. Thank you. Well, Terry, what a delight to meet you. You're, Thank you. You're absolutely so fun. Thanks so much, guys. Bye, fans. I know you enjoyed.